Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in the kitchen. I'm doing a little bit of baking and while I put the next batch in the oven I thought I'd do some decluttering as well. So I, uh, if you've watched my recipe video for the um, my very favorite oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe, I'll link it below. Um, I made some up previously and I scooped them and I was really short on time so I just threw them in one of these leftover containers to put in the freezer. So these have been thawing a little bit. You don't have to thaw them, you can put them in straight from the freezer, but I knew I'd kind of be working back and forth today, so I just got them out. This is a batch that came out of the freezer, or of the freezer, of the oven, um, maybe 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to uh, scoop these into my little container here, and we're gonna go visit my daughter's old babysitter. So she's excited about that. She has a half day of school today. It's the 21st. So we are getting really close to Christmas and it's winter solstice. So soon we'll start having a little more sunlight, which will be great. And I don't know about you, but I'm still plucking away at my Christmas list. And this will probably be my last decluttering video before Christmas and I'm not sure if I'll get a video done next week while we're all home for Christmas break because I'll have my daughter home with me so I haven't tried filming yet with her in the house and I'm not sure how that will go. So that is done. I'm going to go ahead and place my little pre-scooped balls of cookie dough on here and I washed my hands before I started so no worries there. I'm a little bit stuck. That's why I actually thought I should get these out to thaw a little bit because normally I freeze them on one of these silicone baking mats and then once they're frozen, they peel off of here real easily and I can put them in a freezer container. And I just made this batch yesterday or the day before and I was really short on time and I didn't uh, get a chance to do that whole process and I knew they'd be kind of stuck to that container. So, all right, these are gonna go into the oven at 350 I think I'll do 10 minutes and that way I can declutter for 10 minutes and now we have nice little sorry that's loud but there we go so that'll be a nice little treat for my daughter's old babysitter so we can deliver that in a little bit let me wash my hands okay and I know some of my nieces and nephews have been off school since Wednesday, so it's, it's just that time of year. So I'm going to sit down on my stool so you can see me a little bit better. And what I have today is um, essentially day 21 of the 30 Bags in 30 Days Declutter Challenge issued by Sophia at My Great Challenge. If you followed me, you know that I've been slowly working on it and I'll probably be working on it in January. It is what it is. So, um, so what I have are things from the living room. Now, I'm pretty sure day 21 was the den or the basement. The basement is full of things to declutter, and I'm trying to just get through it one box at a time. And it's helping to find more spaces in our main living area that have been decluttered now. Um, it just I don't know it's just giving me more peace of mind I don't feel so stressed as I'm going about my daily tasks you know I did my pantry um, last couple of videos and it's amazing I I have not really done much on the shelves other than the cookbook shelf which now feels much less uh, dangerous <laughs> when I'm in there I you know I pulled out a few cookbooks for cookie recipes here and there and every time I go in there I think oh this is so nice they're just on this sturdy wooden shelf, nothing's gonna fall on me, and I can find everything, and I'm not, you know, you, you just have those little niggling thoughts. Like, I, I remember looking at the whole big shelf full and thinking, I know I need to get through there and purge some of these, and I don't need them all, and I don't know which ones to get rid of. You know, it seemed so hard. Now it's done, and I look at that shelf, and I think, okay, it's good. I don't need to do anything else, so. Same thing with the pantry floor. I cleaned that up and it feels so much better walking in there now. And I've found that I have, you know, here and there just thought, well, I need to just put away the rice into these containers. So I'll do that. It'll only take me 30 seconds and 
now that little area is more organized. So because I've tackled those two bigger sections of the pantry that were sort of overwhelming me and weighing on my mind, it's freed me up to jump in there and just get a little bit of decluttering and organizing done in very small pockets of time in just little focused areas. And every time I do it, it feels better and better. So just some encouragement for you and myself to not give up and keep going on this decluttering. So anyway, back to what I'm working on today is a collection of things that I think I took off of the mantle in our parlor or formal uh, sitting room, I think two Christmases ago when I put out Christmas decorations and then they never got put back up. Um, so that tells me, one, I'm not missing them, and two, it's time to go through them because I also haven't opened the boxes in that long a time. These little things were stashed, so I grabbed those as well. So what I have is a metal photo print, and it's really dark and in here. It's, it's kind of hard to see. The photo's a little bit dark, but it's a sweet photo that a dear friend of ours took at our family farm campground of the sunrise uh, time when we were all camping together. So I like this and I want to keep it. Um, I need to figure out either how to hang it or if I want to frame it or what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to keep that for now. That's kind of a sentimental one. This was given to me by a dear friend. It's a really pretty blue glass vase and she has passed and I want to keep that but I don't like that it's been hiding in the basement. I want to put it out. So these, if you can see those, these are actually, they're hollow on the bottom and these are from our wedding. So you turn them upside down and they were our champagne toasting flutes, but they're, I can't remember what they're called. There's a local glass company that makes them as a shot glass size. Um, shoot, they have a cute name and now it's escaped me. But anyway, they're, they're made so that you can't put them down unless you've drank everything in there, which is just kind of fun. But we thought they were cute and we had them made in the shot glass size for each of our wedding party. And then these were our toasting flutes that we were going to toast on our anniversary. Well, I don't think we've ever <laughs> used them for our anniversary. So we need to do that. And I would like to have them out to remind me to do that. You know, find little bits of fun that you can. So a couple of other things. This is just a sweet little bluebird. Um, I think I remember keeping it because I liked the colors, but I'm not sure I really want to keep it anymore. So that's kind of on the fence. The problem is I don't have a ton of surfaces to decorate. And then I don't like to have a ton of decorations out. And I found I was just putting things out as we were getting them. Some of them were gifts and things like that, just because I felt like I should put them out. So same with this cute little, cute little squirrel with his little acorn there. There's some woodland themed things. These are salt and pepper shakers, which I've seen at, I think, Schnucks, which is a grocery store out here in the Midwest where I live. And I have two sets of those. I think two different people gave them to me. This is an acorn uh, salt shaker, but I don't know where the pepper shaker is. There's that. So anyway, I think I'm ready to pass those on. Here's another box of goodies. Ah, and I have been wondering what happened to a few of these things. So, okay, this is just a bag of silk um, fall leaves. So this really belongs in our fall decorations bin. Uh, so that can just be put away. Then this is something I've been looking for too. Okay, what do we have here? So this. Okay, I have a box on the floor with wrapping supplies. Um, I don't think I need to keep this. It's it's a just a little acorn or uh, squirrels on a log. It's cute. It's a hide a key, but we don't have a need for that. So so I don't need that. I'm gonna let that go. Um, some of these I think actually fell out of a wreath that I made, perhaps. So they can go in our. I'm not really sure why these are all in here. Or maybe I had them out as decoration with this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I had all these in a vase at one point as a fall decoration. And that's fine. I don't mind keeping little things like that because it's an easy way to make it feel like fall. So we'll just put all that down in our fall. I have one 
big plastic tote that has all my fall decorations, so that can go in there. This is a Polish Easter egg, so I don't know how well you can see it, but um, if you watched my cookbook video, my dad's side of the family is Polish, so this was something I had gotten in college. I do want to keep it, but it needs to go in the Easter, it's going to keep rolling, Easter box down, or spring. I have a spring decor, a fall decor, and then four or five Christmas, whoops, Christmas totes. So those can all go downstairs. What is this? See, I just tucked all these things away. Oh, <laughs> yeah, apparently this was all my fall stuff that I packed up when I was uh, probably putting Christmas out and I just forgot that it was all down there. So I don't mind keeping that cute little sign, but it needs to go in the fall box. Um, this is a set my husband found. It looks like old books and then you pull it out and it's actually these, um, I think they were, I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a special viewer you put them in and it gives you like a 3D effect and they're all about, uh, this one says Meadville, Pennsylvania, New York, New York, Chicago, Illinois, London, England. No, I think that's just where the company's from. What is this? Keystone View Company. So, and there, here we go. Sons of France on parade in Paris. So they're things to do with the war, I think, which were not like huge history war buffs, but I think he just thought this was cool for what it is. So I'll ask him about that. I don't mind keeping it. We have a couple of little bookshelves in the parlor sitting room that they could go in just because they're kind of interesting, but I'll double check with him. All right, here's another cute little, little birdie for the fall. It is cute, but again, I'm kind of running out of space for decorative things, so I'm going to get rid of him. What else is in here? Is there something else wrapped up? Oh, I remember this is a set of doves or lovebirds that I can't remember. Was this a wedding gift or did I just find it? I think I just found it, but I'm ready to get rid of that. Uh oh, 10 minutes already. So let me check on my cookies. Uh, I, so this is what they look like after 10 minutes, slightly chilled. Can you see them? I'm going to go another minute because I like the edges to be just a little darker brown. All right, let's see if I can knock out this decluttering. One more minute, okay? So I'm getting rid of the birds. What else? I'm getting down to the last of it here. This is some kind of a plate. I think. I don't have to. Oh, I know. I think this is the. This is something we bought on our honeymoon in Mexico. Whoop! I'm breaking my gosh. Yeah, so it's a mask. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> At the time, we wanted it, so I'll, I'm fine keeping it. Gosh, be careful, Natasha. I think I better put it back on this paper. Um, I'm fine keeping it, but I don't want it out right now, and I might need to ask my husband about how he feels about it. Was, we were just trying to get a souvenir, but I don't know. Let's see. Oh, and then these go with this. So this is an antique. All right, let me get those cookies. This is an antique candelabra. And then I have um, a friend gave us that. And then I have these little glass globes that sit on there to hold the candle. I don't know how well you can see that, but... Um, I don't mind keeping that either because it did look pretty up on our mantle. There we go. So these are a little more golden brown. Can you see that? So I'm going to let those cool for a few minutes. Um, yeah, so when I have non-Christmas stuff up on the mantle, I do remember thinking this was nice because it added some height, this candelabra. So I'm going to keep that, but... I don't need it out right now, so I'm going to wrap this back up, and I think this box can just go back in the basement with only these few things in it that we want to keep. 
put out when it's not Christmas, our mask from our honeymoon in Mexico. Okay, I'm okay storing that. And yeah, so the rest of those things I can put out right now, and then I have a little bit of fall stuff to put away. So it's not a ton, but I have one, and these are all kind of breakable, so I'm going to wrap them up. Two, three, I don't, still don't know where the other pepper salt shaker set is. So this is my little collection of stuff that I'm going to get rid of, which is one small box. And again, <laughs> every little bit that I do is helpful. It just makes me feel like I'm making some progress in the chaos. So I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, a happy new year, whatever holidays you're celebrating and whatever family time you have. I hope that it all goes smoothly and you have a chance to just slow down and enjoy the season. So thanks for joining me again today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Perhaps it'll be in the new year. We don't know yet. So all right, take care and be well. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you a quick look of everything that I have decluttered out of my home so far in this 30 bags and 30 days declutter challenge and it's all going to goodwill today um it's a lot and there are even a few things that i had collected prior to the challenge that just never made it to goodwill so it feels really good to be taking them all to goodwill and hopefully they can bless someone else and help them this holiday season or on into the next year